everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lizzie. Thanks for popping by. This is for Taurus. It's a pickle pile this week. Um, starting today, October 18th, until next Sunday, October 25th. Also next Sunday on the 25th, I'll do the following week reading for you. Um, since the collective is so big, I'm going to do a pickle pile to try to get more groups in. Because I know I can't get to everyone. The collective is huge. I want to hear... I want to get to different groups every week. Why not put two in each group, right? Also, since it's Halloween season, I'm having a little fun. I'm a unicorn today. I'm not going to wear costume-like stuff every time. I'm just being silly today. Uh, anyway, I'm also doing candy pick-a-pile. So, it's all candy themed this week. Your pick-a-pile choices are pile one. Are you the big chew? Remember this when you were a kid and you stuck the wad in your mouth, especially if you played baseball? <laughs> Pile one, big chew. Pile two, hubba bubba. <laughs> the delicious, most delicious gum in the world, especially the cotton candy flavor is my favorite. <laughs> so pile one, big league. Pile two, hubba bubba. Five out, pause it if you need more time and we'll get right to pile one. Hi there, pile one for Taurus. You picked the big chew. Big leaf chew. I call it big chew. I think I've always called it that. I don't think I've ever said big leaf chew. Have you? <laughs> hit me up in the comments. Also, if this is resonating, please hit the comment button. Hit the subscribe button. Introduce yourself in the comments. I'd love to get to know you. Or give me some feedback, but please be nice. <laughs> All right. Let's get right into it. Ooh, we have forgive someone. Got some anger vibes from you this week, Taurus. It's retrograde season. There's going to be people that just piss you off through this whole season. So I feel like, I don't know, this feels more heavier though, more like heart sick. We'll see what they have to say. Some channel messages from Spirit to you. If tomorrow never comes, who would you regret not being at peace with? Life is short and precious. And it's better to stand up and face the music than to lose them from pride. How much time will you waste before this is made right again? Ooh. You want to make this right. You love this person very much, but you're very hurt in the heart space. And you're in your pride because you're hurt in the heart space. You are a Taurus, an earth sign. I'm a Virgo. I'm also stubborn. And I get my pride as well. So I understand and I can't judge you too much. But you're being a little prideful about this love situation. It could be a family member, or it could be a lover, or even a best friend. We shall see. Don't doubt your skills. Take a breath. Know your worth. You win some, and you lose some. Keep moving and do your best. It will all be okay. Ooh, some rejection. I feel like this is a love situation where you kind of put yourself out there like you were crushing or you wanted to take something to the next step and you were straight deaded or as straight deaded means like no I don't want to be in a relationship or I'm not looking for anything serious or you're friend zoned or they're just like I'm sorry I don't feel that way back this is why you need to forgive someone maybe you were friends and you wanted to take it more to a level of lovers and it backfired I'm definitely getting those vibes you reached out, you put yourself out there, you were vulnerable, and you don't feel like they took your feelings into consideration at all here, which puts your pride up. You don't want to come back and, and put your feelings on the table to somebody who did that to you. And as a Taurus, it's hard for you to put your feelings on the table at all, so you take it very personally. Doesn't anybody, when they're rejected, though, in some sense, I take it hard. Maybe it's because we're earth signs. I feel you, Taurus. <laughs> Destiny. Follow your instincts. They lead to the truth. Third eye chakra. But you know the truth about the situation. You know this person is meant to be in your life, whether it's a lesson. I heard twin flame. Maybe... My third eye itches. Hold on. <laughs> As the third eye card comes out. I feel like you got a runner here. I feel like you freak them out, not in the bad way, like in the good way, and they're just not ready to handle that yet. They lied to you. They lied to you about one, not being ready, or two, not having feelings for you. 
I feel like you know that with your third eye. You know that this person either is feeling more than they let on or they're just scared of this. Scared to rock the boat, I heard. Creativity. Use creativity to transform your pain into positivity. Throat chakra. You could be a creative person if you're a musician. Write a song about it. It's probably going to be gold because it's coming from the heart. Write a poem. Um, paint something. Take some photos. Creativity is really calling to you. I feel like it's how you heal and it's how you get a lot of your feelings out. But this is throat chakra, so it's something to do with your throat, whether it's rapping how much they hurt them, or singing how much they hurt them, or saying it in a creative way, getting that pain out of your body will help you forgive. Surrender to oh, surrender your attachments to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. A little codependent on this person. I do feel like this is a twin flame. I'm in a twin flame journey myself. There are a lot of times in a twin flame journey where you're codependent on each other or one is codependent clinging too much to the relationship which repels the other person. I feel like that's what happened here. You were clinging so hard onto this connection that you repelled them away in fear. They were scared of it. They don't know. They're not ready. You have, you have to remember about, as a Taurus, I totally get you because I'm a Virgo and we're not that too much different as far as in the love department. Like, you either said it how it was, like, I think you're my twin flame and I think that there's something really special between us and I know you're scared. Or you saw right through them and you said and you gave your opinion and you read them better than anyone has ever read them and they rant because they don't know how to handle that kind of power because they're still low vibes they're on their journey you're more evolved in this journey you might even know what a twin flame is or recognize that they're your soulmate you put it all out there but they just weren't ready to hear it and so you figure that rejection is because they don't want you. That's not true. They absolutely want you. They just don't know. They're so intimidated, one by you and your honesty and how much you could read them and how much this relation, this connection twists them up. I feel like they like to have control here. And with you, they won't be able to have control or they won't maybe they they pick people that don't challenge them in any sense and you very much challenge them but you're so you're like you're my twin flame and I'm not letting go or you're my soulmate and I'm not giving up on this but by keeping doing that you're repelling them so what you need to do is turn around and learn how to forgive in here let go of the anger love yourself put that love back into yourself glow yourself up and I tell you what this person well, their head will snap. When you're glowing up and they think that you, they basically think you're gonna crumble without them. Prove them wrong. And I bet your ass they'll be coming over to kiss your booty hootie like I fucked up. Because when you glow up is when your twin flame is like, shit, I lost that. Best thing I ever had. Look at them, glowing up, they don't need me and it makes them check themselves and makes them glow up. You make each other glow up. This rejection is supposed to make you glow up. And I, they will come back, I promise you. Especially if it's a twin flame, they will come back. There's always a runner and a chaser in the beginning. You are the chaser, they are the runner. Stop chasing them, chase yourself. And the minute you stop chasing them and you put all that love into yourself and you glow up, like I said, their head will snap. <laughs> they look at you and run but they're gonna become the run chaser don't become the runner though <laughs> because then you're just gonna go back and forth but I'm telling you what glow yourself up and don't do it out of spite actually do it for yourself focus on yourself loving yourself working on things that you love throw yourself into work and making connections go on a diet if you're called to whatever you're called to fix about yourself especially inner childhood wounds, past traumas, healing all that brings union like that. So you need to work on you and this person, well, their head will be like the exorcist and spin right around. 
and then they're going to start beating themselves up for rejecting you because that's how it always goes trust me i know twin flame it's like the back of my hand <laughs> surrender unhealthy relationships let go of relationships that don't serve you including unavailable or toxic people you deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people yes right now this person is toxic to you because they aren't healed although it is your twin flame it's not ready for union basically they had some work to do and if you get together with them now they're only gonna hurt you so you gotta both separate it's like a cage match go to your ding 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 bell rings go to your corners work on yourselves and then when perfect divine timing when you're all healed and you're both glowing up is when union happens so the quicker you go to your corners the quicker that union's going to happen surrender this give up as much as you love them and they are your twin flame you got to give up right now let them figure their shit out let them have that whiplash from looking back at you like shit i messed up let that moment happen glow up and i'm trust trust me when you glow up and you're shining and you're not even looking in their direction anymore that's when they're they start coming back especially when it's a twin flame now is not the time like i said they'll just hurt you they'll hurt themselves you'll set yourself further apart in your journey everything happens in divine timing so they're not going to bring you together before you're ready either one of you and you're each at different levels you're never at the same level until you're at in union do you understand? It's just part of the process. It doesn't mean they reject you. It doesn't mean that they're not coming back. Because right now they're being little poop heads. And they got some stuff to heal. <laughs> but so do you. It's a journey. And it's not a race. It's a freaking marathon. As in, it's not like a quick 100 meter dash. No, no, no. This is a triathlon. Three days of shit. And you're dead at the end of the finish line. It feels like. Yeah, bring yourself new life. Your new life means focusing, just focus and love yourself. And whatever is meant for you is going to be pulled to you, that abundance. Boom, boom. Maybe this might not even be your twin flame. Maybe your real twin flame is going to come when you let this one go. You don't know what's going to happen. The universe shakes the game up. But right now, you need to bring vitality back into renewing your own life, renewing yourself, healing yourself, working on yourself. I don't got time for love. I'm glowing up right now. That should be your attitude. You got community here. This is about your soul family. Calling in your soul family, friends, people who support you. We got spiritual ancestors here on the other side. They're guiding you. Guiding you through this journey and your twin flame. You will end up together. No one believed that, but give it up the spirit. Stop trying to control it so much. Uh oh, here's some stuff that might happen to set you back. Some warnings for you. Envious gluttony, don't look over at them. If they're with somebody else, it ain't gonna last forever. They're called a karmic, okay? They will eventually go away and you will be together. Don't look at them like, I wish I had that life or I wish I was the one they were with. That's gonna set you back. That's toxic to your soul. Do not do it. Don't be jealous. Don't look back. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Remember, this is putting all your love. As much as you love this person, turn it inward. You should love yourself that hard. You should be jealous of yourself that hard. You should want to be yourself because you're awesome. Don't look back at this person. Don't compare. That might happen this week. Triumph of lies. The lies we tell ourselves. <laughs> like, maybe if I just explain it a little better they won't run away or maybe if they just see me all dressed up nice in a nice body they're just gonna be like screw it i'm going like no 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 don't lie to yourself believe that right now is not the right time doesn't mean it's never gonna come just right now no bueno they're kind of a butthole you don't want to deal with them right now they're only gonna hurt you and you're gonna hurt them because you both have stuff to do don't lie to yourself <laughs> Don't lie to yourself and don't believe that they're happy in the situation they're in. They're with the karmic. It's not going to be happy for long. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So, ooh, choose wisely what you give your attention to, what you say, what you do. You got two birds here. You are on a twin flame journey. 
But right now you need to choose wisely, which means choosing yourself. Putting time and energy into yourself. Don't give it don't give this one any more of your light until they have earned it. Including a twin flame, you don't give them nothing until they've earned it. Ooh, we got some deception and envy this week. Some mask wearing. This person, like I said, you shake them up. That's two seven. That's <laughs> luck. You want good luck in this situation? You gotta play the game right. And twin flame is a board game. You need to play it right. You need to roll the dice and go in this direction, which is your direction and yours only. You should only be seeing your life and yourself and have the blinders on. Because this person might be trying to sabotage your journey and your growth. We have the power to hurt our twin flames more than anyone has the power to hurt us. They could be acting like they're happy with the one they're with or they're happy without you. It's a mask. No one believe that. Don't fall for their bullshit. They're playing the game. They want to we're, They want to see you be defeated without them. It's an ego thing. They, they haven't had their ego death yet. So they're going to play you. Don't fall for it. No one see the truth. They're lying to themselves. They honestly believe it right now, but it ain't going to be true forever. Trust me. Yeah, you need space. You need to put space and distance in this union. Don't give them any more of your time, any more of your light. You've done enough. You put the intention out there. You planted the seed. Now you gotta let that that seed start to sprout in the soil and work its way up to the sun. That's you working on yourself and that person working on themselves. And so union can happen. Time to, to put the brakes on, put the distance. They're toxic to you right now. You don't wanna take toxic things. You're worth better than that. Yeah, center yourself, ground yourself. Because it's your twin flame, they have a way of shaking you up like no other and getting under your skin like no other. And they know exactly what to do to piss you off. No, they're just playing a game and you shouldn't even be looking in their direction. You shouldn't even be touching their dice. You should be touching your own dice, moving your own game piece. Don't even give them the time of day right now. They're very toxic to your soul. You need to center and ground yourself so that you can develop on your part of the journey. All you are responsible for is your part of the journey. When your part of the journey is finished and their part of the journey is finished, then union happens. You want union to happen, you gotta put the work in, sweethearts. I know it's hard to hear, but all about this week for you is getting rid of this person. Act like they do not exist. Do not give them any attention. Don't answer their phone calls, dead it cold as it is it needs to happen you need to go to your corners and do your own growth you have a lot to, of work to do before union comes but don't be discouraged because union always comes my darlings and when it does you're going to forget all about this petty shit i promise you okay stay hopeful put that love into yourself you don't deserve this toxicity right now they have some growing up to do don't take them before they're ready it's the biggest mistake of your life okay Love and light. See you next week. Hey there, Taurus Pile 2. You picked that hubba bubba. <laughs> I just like saying it like that. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot for you. Let's get right into it. Remove the limiting labels you're wearing. Can't, ugly, lacking, bitch, empty, ignorant, weak, delicate, feeble, stupid, unattractive. Oh my God, you're beating yourself up. Up here, you're beating yourself up. Don't do that this week. It's time to dead that, Spirit says. Got enough ugly nastiness in this world. You don't need to add to your own... You don't need to be your own bully here, Taurus. You're being very hard on yourself. Let's see why. You're a little hot-headed lately. You need to cool down and think about what is wrong and what you need. Ooh. You're overwhelmed. So you don't... You don't really know what exactly the issue is or even where to start to figure out what the issue is. You're being a very big bully to yourself and because you're being a bully to yourself, it's clouding everything else. Hmm. Hot-headed, you're just aggravated, you're frustrated, you're over shit, you have little patience and your fuse is very short. You're overwhelmed. What you need to do first 
a zen out, meditate, and get calm. And then take a piece of paper and write all the things that are bothering you. Everything, even if it's small, what you think is stupid, which it really isn't stupid, anything. It could be like, I hate the neighbor and he leaves his trash lid in the driveway and it annoys me. <laughs> write it all out, every little, big, tiny, little thing. And when you're calm and centered, you can read through it and just take a pen and be like, okay, well, that's petty. We don't need to give that any more attention. You know, it's their driveway with their trash can. I mean, why do I care? So you're going to cross off all the things that are petty and small, and you're going to circle all the things that are big and really eating at you for a long amount of time. This is how you discover what the real issues are. Because you're so overwhelmed, you don't even know. And we all get there. We all get there at some point when you're so angry and frustrated, you're like, who didn't tie the bread thing? <laughs> it's like a whole big thing when it's really just a bread tie and everyone's like, it's not even about the bread tie. You're just so, you've hit your limit for the amount of crap that you can take and you just, your top just blows. It happens to us all, Taurus. This might happen this week or it ha if it hasn't already. Spread your wings. You're letting fear hold you back. Let go. Follow your heart with no fear. Ooh, this is getting out of your comfort zone, breaking up your routine. Maybe you're just stuck in the mundane, mundane. you're like sick of the virus, you're sick of wearing a mask, you're sick of dealing with the election shit, I mean, all of this stuff. Everything is aggravated to you because you're stuck in like a, wa a washing machine of drama and gossip and all this shit going on in your life. So getting up and getting out, spread your wings, get outside your earth side, being in the around nature will help you calm and center yourself. All right, heart chakra, compassion, resolve your conflicts with compassion. Exactly, don't be a hothead this week. Don't just lash out and sit as hard as it is, especially when you're so overwhelmed the way you are. Take a deep breath and understand people can't read your mind and they can't figure out what's wrong with you unless you talk to them. So instead of snapping over little things, like, I'm sorry, I'm just having a bad day. Just having a bad, I don't even know what my issue is. It's not you, it's me. Even by saying that, it's compassion for the other person so they know that you're just going through a hard time and, and to give you that space to process it. Have compassion for the people around you. As, as much as you're going through it, it is your problem. It shouldn't be everybody else's. It's basically what Spirit is saying. You might even make yourself worse because you lash out and then you feel bad because that person really didn't do anything. You're like, no, I'm an asshole. And I'm such an asshole. And you're beating yourself up more. So to stop beating yourself up more, have compassion for the people around you, but also for yourself. Understand you're very overwhelmed. It's okay, we all get overwhelmed. Just take a deep breath and tell people the truth. Like, I don't even know what my deal is. I think I just need to go sit under my desk for a minute and be funny about it. People understand, we've all got to that point, but it's gonna take you saying that for people to really get it. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a high source of knowledge. Ooh, your third eye is going to be opening bright for you. This is so you can help see what the real problem is because you're so overwhelmed. I feel like you have been for a minute. Divine is stepping in to help you. Like, listen, you're so stressed out, you're going to give yourself a heart attack here. We need to do something about this. They're going to help you see what really is the issue and what's just petty crap because that's where you're getting stuck. Surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. You can get over this. You can be a happy, vibrant person. You can be centered. You can figure your own problems out. But you have to surrender to yourself. Like give up the anger. Give up the resentment. Write out and figure out what your deal is. And then start thinking positively about yourself. And when you think positively and you're on high vibes, you're abundance. You're like a magnet. Everything good that's supposed to be is just pulled to you because you're smiling, you're bubbly, you're being happy, you're putting happy vibes out. It very much affects your environment, what mood you're in. 
So you're kind of blocking your abundance, you're blocking good things, and you're not allowing miracles to happen by beating yourself up all the time, Taurus. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. This is retrograde. This is why you're so tense. This is a test. This is a learning curve for you. All this stress and anxiety in your body. It's your body telling you, like, I have stuff in here that needs to get released and healed and dealt with. Stop pushing it down and dealing with it later. Isn't Later is now. You've been doing it. Just pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. No more of that. Now it's time to deal with it. To sit with yourself and really figure out what the big issues are, what the small issues are, and where to start in getting better mentally. This is all part of your journey. This is a lesson you are always supposed to learn so that when you go in the future, you don't get this caught up in your feelings because you're going to you're gonna see the triggers. Like, oh, if I don't do something about it now, it's going to be like last time when I just went... I just blew a head gasket and had that crazy month or couple months and I put myself in a rut, you're going to recognize what to do to get out of that because you're going to learn from this. You have a lot of competition this week or you, you're, this could be your ego with yourself, this could be you comparing yourself to other people but there's a tug of war going on. I feel like this is mostly within yourself. Like, I should be this, I should have this already, I should be this far ahead, or they're so much better than me, they make more, so much, they make more money, they're more solid, they're happy, like, this is you comparing yourself to other people, and you're in that tug of war with yourself. This is also all of the strife and hardship in your body. I don't know if you can see it, you're tugging a war. This is all your anxiety and your depression just going back and forth, back and forth inside yourself. Yeah, you're definitely suffering. You're in dark night of the soul here. It's been a rough go for you. This whole, I heard pandemic, this whole pandemic, you're just, you've hit your limit. Like you need to hit the brakes. It's been way too much and you need to accept some help here. You might even want to go see a counselor if you're called to do so. But mostly this week you need to start dealing with your feelings and stop pushing them aside because they're starting to blow up. You're starting to be a little bit of a head gasket, snappy at people or just like Eeyore walking around, you know, or just have a grumpy, what I call resting bitch face, which I have all the time and I'm not even mad <laughs> apparently. People are like, what's wrong? with like, Nothing was my resting bitch face again. <laughs> but you know what I mean? But you actually, you're projecting it. You're so toxic in here, you're starting to project it out into the world. People are noticing and not in a good way. You don't want it to hinder your life. So here's some warnings about what might happen this week. Anger and chains. Yes. Chain to your anger. If you don't start dealing with these issues this week if you don't start calming down and, and really sitting with yourself and meditating taking a bath sending out relaxing you're just going to keep snapping at people and it's going to hurt your life you're going to lose relationships you might even lose a job you could lose a promotion because you have a very nasty attitude because in here you're suffering you're not a nasty person. I can already feel that. You're just suffering so much. You're in so much pain inside and you're not dealing with it. So it's got to, it'll find its way out of your body any which way it can until you deal with it. So this week is about calming down. Don't give in to the anger this week. Pay attention. What What is triggering you and why? Look at it as a lesson. And I feel like you won't snap as much because you're paying attention to your emotions. You're paying attention to what's coming out of your mouth. You're gonna, you could, this is mostly what depression does. It makes you feel very alone in the world, but you're not. You can ask people for help. If you don't have a support system, this is going and getting help professionally. You can reach out to me. I deal with depression all the time. I was diagnosed with it. I know very much what this slump that you're in feels like. But I also know you can get out of it because I've gone, got in myself into this and out of it. 60 billion times in my life you can get out of this you are not alone in the world 
people will understand. You've just got to vocalize yourself. It's like, I'm sorry guys, I'm going through a really hard time. It's not you, it's me. This is what's going on. Just by getting that out of your body, everyone around you is just going to relax. I'm like, okay, well they don't hate me or they're not pissed at me or, you know, they're not a horrible person. We've all been in the spot of suffering, every single one of us. People will have compassion, but you got to get it out of your body. you got to give people the respect to say what's going on, including to yourself. You need to admit to yourself that you don't have it together right now, and that's okay. We can't have it together all the time. We're not saints. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Obstacles and challenges with this change, with the world issues. This could be work. Um, your relationships could be taxed because you've just been a very in a very bad spot this week could threaten to challenge you like challenges throwing at you and you're like i'm getting tongue-tied here like you're so emotionally constipated if you will you don't know how to get it out of your body you don't know what to say you don't know how to ask for help and that's completely normal that's a part of depression but don't let the obstacles and challenges shake you up. Like I said, when you're getting overwhelmed, just take a deep breath. Or be like, guys, can I just go outside for a second? Like I said, I'm just having a bad day. I just need to let me come back in and I'll take that time. Take that step back because you absolutely need to. Don't become overwhelmed this week. Don't allow yourself to. As hard as it is, pay attention to your reactions and how you do things. You're going to have to sacrifice here. Um, take a personal day you're going to have to sacrifice um, seeing friends or being social or or giving up time time for things that you need to do for relaxing for putting you time in make time, make the sacrifice to put you time in like I said, bubble bath, meditating taking a walk organizing your space if that helps you think clearer writing in a journal sacrifice that time this week you need to put time into you you're you're gonna blow like a head gasket if you don't take the time and it could hinder your life like i said exactly stop that tug of war and balance yourself this week get out in nature really get to the heart of the matter this week that's your main objective and put that balance back in so you stop projecting your pain out to the world rediscovery yes you're gonna really quick by the end of the week you're gonna be like okay so i've been in a funk you might even be apologizing to people and if that's not it you're just gonna be like this is what i need to do from now on every day i need to make some time to sit by myself so i don't get overwhelmed or i need to make a plan on how to deal with my emotions or how to change things in my life that aren't going well, that are toxic for me, that kicked me off on this whole bender in the first place. You're going to know what to do by the end of the week. If you give this an honest try, if you really put the work in to loving yourself, being kinder to yourself and kinder to everyone around you, and taking that step back and zenning out, you will know what to do. You will see the truth of what's really bothering you, but you've got to do the work this week, Taurus. I know this was a hard message, but like I said, I deal with depression all the time. A lot of us are dealing with depression, especially with the state of the world. You are not alone. It doesn't make you a faulty person, and it doesn't mean you're going to feel this way forever. You won't. I promise. You will get happier. You will get better if you put the work in. I wish you all the best. If you need someone to talk to you about it, hit me up. I will help you through it in the best way that I can. I'll see you next week. Remember, October 25th, which is next Sunday, I will do the following week. Please hit the like button and the subscribe. Introduce yourself in the comments. I would love to get to know you. See you next week. Love and light. Bye.